Step 16.1 is all about formatting text and columns. When developing a document, um, you are able to actually design different elements within the document to publish something that looks professional and effective, which is also called desktop publishing. Desktop publishing is the process of actually creating a document using a computer to lay out text and graphics. An example of that would be a newsletter. A newsletter generally consists of text and graphics. So let's go ahead and get started with step 16.1. The first thing we need to do is open up step 16.1 from our data files. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that we will do is make sure that we toggle on our show height. So we are looking for the paragraph of text under the heading protection from the sun, which is here. Let's triple click, one, two, three. Triple click allows you to select the whole paragraph. So the first thing that we will do is click our page layout and find columns button in the page setup group and drop down and we're going to make this paragraph into two columns. Okay and then scroll down to your next paragraph. Select the three paragraphs under the text heading, the health risk of living alone, and notice these are three short paragraphs. So go ahead and select the three paragraphs and go back to Collins, drop down, and this time we are going to select three, three columns. Now, in the section that we just made three columns, we're going to position um, our insertion point at the end of the first sentence, which ends important to your health, which is right here. And we will press spacebar and add the following text. They speculate that mind body responses to human contact may be a factor. Period. Now, notice that when we enter text into, added text to this existing paragraph, the text just wrapped around to the three columns. So we were able to maintain our three columns over to the next, three columns and the text just wrapped around over to the next column. So triple click in the paragraph of the text below under hiking and biking. One, two, three, to select. And we're, we will click Columns button. This time we will go to More Columns. And you should have a dialog box for columns. We will select a right column. And we would like to put a line between our columns. Now notice it gives you a preview of the column that you're going to create. Write more text on the right, less text on the right side, and then a line separating. And then OK. And notice it gave us the column exactly how we previewed it. All right. So Delete the section break right here. You see where it says section break? Press delete on your keyboard. Not backspace, but delete on your keyboard. 
Now, notice when we did that, it took the column and the line away because we um, deleted the section break. So click undo so we can get it back. I just wanted you to see that if you wanted to get rid of your column, that's one way by deleting the section break. And the same is true for all of the columns that we just added. Getting rid of that section break will delete your columns. All right, so the next thing that we will do is um, select our text under the heading, the health risks of living alone. and click on your home tab and click on justify alignment now get that screen tip if you need to and it changes your alignment to um, justify click on your repeat button and scroll up or no, let's go down and select your text under your last heading and repeat your justify left. All right, so I am going to decrease the size of my document because I want you to just take a look full screen at my document and notice that it is in the beginning stages of looking like a newsletter by simply adding columns a variation of columns we have two columns here then we have three columns and then we have column a right column with the line in, in between with our headings we're on the beginning stages of creating what looks to be a newsletter um, so let's go ahead and save. We've completed step 16, 1. And oops, I forgot to save it as newsletter 1. So if you have not done so, make sure you save your document as newsletter 1. And I'll see you soon.